today's short yet exciting lesson, ladies and gentlemen, is about perimeter. What, pray tell, do you suppose perimeter is? When you're in the Army slash Navy slash Marines, Color Guard, Honor Guard, and your supervising officer tells you to secure the perimeter, you probably should know what that means. Or in this school here, if we said secure the perimeter, Brooklyn. That's pretty much it, yeah. The outside wall, the outer part that we need to get into the building. And that's what perimeter, when you ask about perimeter here in math, it's the distance around the outside. Distance around. And it's really pretty simple, like per se. Here is my rectangle that is maybe a 10 inch by 20 inch rectangle. How would you find the perimeter of that? It's a simple process. You just add all the sides together. Now, it does get a touch bit more complicated, but if you were doing this, I don't know how long this is, or I do know how long it is. How, how long is that? Are you just assuming it's 10? How do you know it's 10? Well, yeah, but that's not necessarily the case, unless it's a rectangle. By definition of a rectangle, opposite sides are equal. So yeah, so the perimeter of this would be 10 plus 10 plus 20 plus 20, and the perimeter is a lot of 60 inches around. Now, lest you think that that's all there is, the book obviously tries to throw some little, uh, whatever, wrenches in the system. Can we throw something in something? So, no, I'm looking for something that's a common saying. Oh, that's a different. Throw, a something in, throw the towel in, yes. No. Here's a, an example of what the book might do. It'll say, it'll ask you this. A square has a perimeter of 80 feet. How long? would be each side. Given this problem in the book, children, what do you suppose your algorithm for solving this problem is? Who? Didn't Al Gore, right, like run with, uh, is he vice president for President Clinton? Somebody of them alive when Al Gore was not. All right, enough of that. <laughs> if you see this in the book and it asks you to do this problem, the first thing, Jaden, obviously you do is... No. Someday, I dream of a world. Laney. And draw it down. Exactly. You will draw the square down. You will, on your paper, draw this square and write down that the perimeter of this square is 80 feet. Now, I know the distance around is 80 feet, but how in the world would I ever know what each side is because I'm not told what the sides are? Jaden, here's where you come in. Why, why does dividing work in this case? Because the square has four sides. Not only does the square have four sides, but the square has four equal sides, right? The definition of a square is four equal sides. So this would be x plus x plus x equals 80. So yes, you would divide 80 by 4, and you know every side has to be 20. Because, Jaden, if I told you that the rectangle had a perimeter of 80, what would the answer be? If you know that a rectangle has a perimeter of 80, how long would each side be? Somebody help Dave now here. That is a mental block. Riley? It could be 20, 20, 10, and 10. That wouldn't give me 80, that only give me 60. It could be 
This is a little bit of a deep mess. 30, 30, 30, 10. Yeah, you can do 10 at 10. The key words Riley uses is it could be. Okay, unless you're given that it's a square, there is no answer to this because there's a million answers that it could be or an infinite amount of answers because it could be 30. It could be 30 and 10 for each side, or it could be, what, 15 and 25, or it could be 1 and, could it be 1? Take 2 away from 80, and you get 78. 1 and 39, 2 and 38. But the key is this. When you read a problem, you have to see, okay, if it says it's a square, I need to know what I know about squares is that each side is equal, so that helps me solve the problem. That's why you kind of draw it. <coughs> Somehow it seems like I get more excitement out of this than me. Um, oh, which, which means this. Take out a blank piece of paper. 